Hi well, there guys, Neil at Italia Autos here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you an out of the box review on this X-Tool machine. Let's just open the box and uh, see what's inside to start with. It's got a nice sturdy case. With some nice tough looking latches on it to get it open. Inside the box we have some instructions. We have a USB cable, we have a couple of different connectors for the plug, for European and American setups. Let's just chuck the British plug on there, it just clips in and then twists into position. Put those away, we don't need those. And here we have a nice and sturdy looking cable with a serial on the one end and a nice thick ODB port on the other side. It is nice and sturdy and will slot into the socket nice and easily. Let's rip off this Velcro now and have a look at the machine itself. Very well packaged by the way. And here we have the unit itself. It's a nice looking unit. Very good quality and not too heavy but also not too light at the same time. The thing it is lacking is a handle or like a stand on the back of it. It does have a screen cover on it so you can protect that screen. Now let's just count out the start time. I think it took around 30 seconds for its very first boot up. It does get quicker than this once you've loaded everything into it. I am going to use the trial period on this. Uh, I'm not going to activate it because this won't be my full time machine. Looking in the menus, you can use it as a tablet so you can access the internet. You can also view videos and view images on it. On the main screen itself, you've got special functions. You've got report, remote control, auto scan, auto scan, diagnosis, update settings, and more. In the more folder, you would just say X tool. On the main menu button there, you can change all the settings. You have the internet here. Obviously I'm not connected to Wi-Fi at the moment. We have a folder to view the files on the system, which there's not going to be any in a minute because I've not saved anything. I would imagine you can connect a camera to it and things like that so you can um, do diagnostic work using cameras and um, remote controls and other gubbins you can buy to go with it. Uh, the main things it covers are here. You've got everything you could possibly imagine from automatic transmission code reading, power steering resets, oil light resets, tire pressure monitoring and injector coding so it will do everything you will need it to do pretty much out of the box. Now these are the vehicles that it covers. I personally myself will be using Fiat, Alfa Romeo and Porsche in a bath. But as you can see pretty much everything on there including ones I've never heard of uh, are listed and you're able to connect to them. So I've just connected to this 2017 Porsche and as you can see it has connected to all these modules in the car. Now let's view the report. We've got one adaptive cruise control sensor misadjusted so that needs uh, sorting out which I knew about and everything else is all clear. Let's just clear the full codes as you can see now they've all gone. Let's exit the automatic scan Let's see what else we can do. Can we connect to the transmission? Yes, we can. It's actually quite quick. Read trouble codes, no fault codes detected. That's what we want. What actuators can we do? We can do a few resets. Um, what can we connect to the airbag? Yep, connected to the airbag, fine. Uh, air conditioning? Yep, all connected. Tire pressure monitoring system. Okay, connected without any issues and nice and quickly. No fault codes detected, which is what we want to see. So can we connect to the headlamp? Yes, we can. Uh, adaptive cruise control, no front camera. No fault codes detected, we can read the ECU fine. Lane change assist, we haven't got that installed, so that's why it won't connect to that one. Adaptive cruise control. 
And there you go, no fault there. So overall, I'm quite chuffed with this unit. It's uh, very quick. So that's just a quick going over of this unit. It's actually really good, it's very fast. The unit is very sturdy. The screen is very clear. For the price point of sort of a professional scanner, I think this is actually priced pretty well. So if you are interested in buying one of these, have a look in the, the link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.